Dear, what happened to your other shoe? Your mother will be here any minute to pick you up. We buried the bug in it. Kelly, would you help the boys find Bubba's other shoe? The bug is dead, Mom. Can't we let it rest in peace? Please? Okay, guys. Let's get this straight. I want you did. Oh, right! Hi, Lumpy. Hi, Mary Ellen. What, are you losing weight? Nah, uh, I always look thinner in vertical stripes. Hey, Lumpy, sorry I'm late. Hi, honey. Hi. Why don't you change clothes and we'll get going? Oh, no, no. We're going to the kindergarten orientation tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Come on, Kevin doesn't start school until the fall. But the application process for the Center for Progressive Education begins tonight. And you said you'd go. When? Well, the other day when you were in the shower and I asked you if you wanted to and you kind of coughed. Mary Ellen, coughing hardly constitutes a yes. It does at my house. Gotta hide the credit cards every time my bronchitis flares up. And besides, I don't want Kevin going to a private school anyway. Why not? I've never known one kid from a private school who didn't throw like a girl. Oh, you're being ridiculous. And we owe it to Kevin to check it out. You're right. You go. Fill me in later. But if the mother goes alone, it looks like the father doesn't care. Bingo. I'll be right with you, Lump. Excuse us, Lumpy Wally. Mary Ellen, what's wrong with Grand Avenue School anyway? It's a Cleaver tradition. You know, I get, I get chills every time I walk down the hall. That's because the boiler was donated by the class of 22. <laughs> hey, I gotta go with the missus on this one, boy -o. I've heard about that center. If you get your kid in there, you know you've arrived. Whose side are you on, anyway? Yours. Look, counselor, what do all those brats that go to that center have? Rich parents. And what do rich people have? Legal problems. And they... Did it ever occur to you that we might be doing this for the good of our child? Oh, that ain't possible. I'll handle that, Mom. Now listen, Mary Ellen. We're going. You promise. That's it. Well, I let her have the little ones. That way I win the big one. Oh. brings back memories. These are just little chairs. Oh, look, there's Doc Brazell and his wife. Hey. I believe she married me. Why not? He delivered her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Please all take, take your seats, please. Thank you. We'll get started right away. I'd hate to have to put any names on the board. Welcome and thank you all for coming. I am Dr. Ellis P. Stoneham, Director of the Center for Progressive Education. And before we begin here, I, I do have an announcement to make. There is a car parked in the fire lane. It's a black Mercedes. Convertible with personalized plates, head doc. Head doc? Mm -hmm. uh, neurologist or psychiatrist? Bummer. Oh. Now, I always like to start these sessions off with a question. When do they learn computers? Well, I asked the question, and the question is, why are we here tonight? Question. Why are we here tonight? To provide your child with the, with the educational advantage that he or she couldn't possibly get in the public school. And when you entrust your child with us, rest assured that the center staff will work diligently to, to mold that child into a highly motivated, successful citizen. 
and well, hopefully a generous alumnus. <laughs> <laughs> now then, uh, are there any questions at this time? Yes, sir. When do they learn computers? <laughs> well, we don't like to rush the children into computers. Uh, we feel the kindergarten is soon enough. Do you have to pay the entire tuition up front, or can you pay in installments? <laughs> That's wonderful. We just love this sense of humor. <laughs> uh, yes, the plumber. Yeah. I can pay cash up front, but I was wondering about physical education. I don't want my kids throwing like a girl. <laughs> See? Motor Lab, as we like to call it, is run by Heinz Schultz, former gymnastics coach for the East German Olympic team. Yes, the uh, casually dressed man. Yeah, how do I know that sending my son to the center here is really what's best for him? That is the kind of question we like to hear. See, the world is a different place today than it was for you and me. More competitive, more challenging. And how have we responded to that challenge? 97% of our students graduate from college. 61 are in their master's degree and 24% are PhD. In short, we move the child beyond the sandbox and into a world of unlimited opportunity. And isn't that what we all want as parents? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, excuse me. When did you say they learned computers? Here you go, Kip. Complete medical history of the Cleaver family except for Uncle Billy's narcolepsy. I'm sure the Princeton Admissions Committee doesn't need to know about that. Thanks a lot, Dad. Well, what are fathers for? About $13,000 a year in tuition. Whoa. Think you can graduate in two years? <laughs> no. Let me hear your essay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> How would you use your Princeton education? I would use my Princeton education to help bring prosperity and peace to people not only in the United States, but throughout the world. Yep. You're applying to college not running for Miss America. I think it needs a little work. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on the guy who invented computers. Good idea, Grandma. That guy's probably worth billions. <laughs> it's that compact disc club I joined. The computers are messed up. Hi. Uh, my name is June Cleve... Uh, it's 3TV 25202 6KL 56417. And you know what? I joined your club. I ordered the best of Broadway. I do not want to be in your heavy metal club. I received ten of those horrible things in the last two weeks. No, I do not want my free bonus disc. I... Hello? Hello? Congratulations, Mom. It usually takes a year to qualify for the bonus disc. Did you get the latest by ritual sacrifice? Can I borrow it? I told you we're not keeping this trash, Grandma. You know, a very wise person once told me, how do you know you don't like something unless you try it? I was talking about asparagus. <laughs> Grandma, ritual sacrifice is so much more interesting than those boring show tunes. <laughs> this stuff will really get you soaked. I don't want to be soaked. You know, I've done very well all these years without being soaked. <laughs> Grandma, just listen to one song. No! Hi, Wally. Hi, Mom. Why, Dave, you wouldn't believe some of the questions on Kevin's application. Like, what am I supposed to put for this? Why don't you ask the expert? <laughs> Princeton. Kindergarten. <laughs> what have you got? How would you like to see your child's education best utilized? I have the same question. Oh, yeah? What'd you put? <clears throat> well, it still needs a little more work, but yeah? that's what I have so far. <clears throat> I would use my Princeton education to help bring prosperity and peace to people not only in the United States, but throughout the world. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. Read it again for me, will you? Floor this time. <clears throat> I would use my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I... would... Just have to be... Oh, dear. No. Kevin, how could you do this? You know you were supposed to be paying for this interview. You were supposed to look after him. Yeah, you were supposed to look after him. You know the numbers that the man came in on the curve? They aren't dry yet. Oh. So we'll clean up. Go upstairs. Well, thanks, Mom, for letting us use your place for Kevin's interview. I don't understand why it keeps all of that lumber in your living room. Well, I don't mind that. What really bothers me is that it's not for our house. 
Hey, come on, Beaver. Is that what you're going to wear? This is important. Oh, Wally, chill out. Beaver, please put a jacket on. This means a lot to your brother. I didn't wear a jacket for the Princeton recruiter. <laughs> Here she is. Hello. I'm Susan Waterford Benson. And I'm Wallace Cleaver. Won't you come in? Thank you. And this is my uh, mother, Councilwoman Cleaver. How do you do, Miss Benson? Sorry I'm late, but I couldn't read the numbers on the curve. Uh, well, won't you come in? We'll have some coffee. Oh, please. Famous around these parts. Wally, Wally. I gotta know now. Do you want new toilet seats or used ones? Eddie, not now. <laughs> hey, it's the babe with the gams. She's from that private school I was telling you about, and you have to go. Yeah. A body with brains. What a waste. <laughs> okay, okay. But when she asks about me, tell her I'm married. Drives him crazy when he can't have you. <laughs> Ritual sacrifice? <laughs> Those are mine. Excuse me? Here. Mary Ellen and Kevin, um, this is Miss Waterford Benson. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Hello, Kevin. I've really been looking forward to meeting you. Did you have to skate for lunch? <laughs> Kevin. Not quite. He's very observant. So. So. Uh, so, um, might I add, Miss Benson, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. Thank you. Kevin, how about you and I go someplace and have a nice little chat? No, thanks. I'm not allowed to go anywhere with strangers. Oh, well, uh, maybe we can make an exception to that rule just this one time. Huh. Would you like to use the den? Please. Go ahead. Is that... Right now, we're going to play a few games and draw some pictures. It's going to be a lot of fun, okay? No, thanks. I'm not allowed to have fun in these clothes. Now, Kevin, how many crayons do you think I have in my hand? Don't you know? Yes, I do. So why are you asking me? Because I want to know how many you think there are. Just look on the box. It says eight. What if one was missing? You just have to take it back to the store and get your money back. Here, Kevin, why don't we just draw a picture of your family? So wait, in problem number three, you got 91 and 3 eighths. You got six. I better check the batteries in my calculator. I'll call you back later. What's going on? No one will let me listen to my new ritual sacrifice CD at home. My dad thinks every song is about drugs and Satan. Well, aren't they? It's me. I can't understand a word they're saying. You can use my headphones. Just don't sing along. Will you help me get this stupid thing on? Sure. How was the interview? Kind of dumb. The lady kept on telling me to talk to her puppet. Did you have to go through all this junk for kindergarten, too? Nah, Dad just held my hand on the way to school, walked me into the classroom and started to cry. I hope he doesn't cry in front of Bubba. Actually, I don't think you and Bubba are going to the same school. How come? Because you're a kid. You see, grown-ups are kind of goofy. It's like, before you're five, when you cry, you get ice cream. But after you're five, if you cry, you get sent to your room. In other words, there's no reason. You just gotta do what they say until they buy you a car. What a jit. Is this school better than where you go? I don't know. Grand Avenue's been fine for me. But then again, he goes there too. Hey, electrician show up yet? No. Oh. 
Okay. See ya. Hold it right there. I'd like to know when something around here is going to happen. Well, if you dress a little better, put on some makeup, maybe something will. I was referring to the remodeling. Hi, honey. Well, hello, dear. <laughs> Any work from the center? Well, the Armstrongs were rejected, but the Dunnings kid got in. That hyperactive little butterball got in? Why do you want to send what's-his-name to private school? You ever see those kids? They're nothing but a bunch of patty weights. Haven't sent anyone? Well, look who's here. Vetus elephantitis. <laughs> Go ahead, have your fun. I'm an easy target. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's your mail. Oh, and here's yesterday. Uh, sorry to hear about your sister. I always knew that guy she married was a bum. Hey, it's from the center. Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver, thank you for your interest in the Center for Progressive Education. Unfortunately, we regret to... Oh, I not believe it. Oh, no. This is going to break his heart. You're not going to take this lying down, are you? Do you remember what I did when my dad threw me out of the family business? Yeah. You begged and cried. Oh, after that. You mean when you went on your 13-hour hunger strike? Look. What would you do if you got an unjust verdict in court? I'd appeal. Exactly. What do you mean? Well, it's like if you want some more butter in a restaurant and the waitress doesn't bring it back to you right away, you got to let them know how hungry you are. They, talking about schools, not a coffee shop. Go back to that center and sell yourself. Show them what an asset you'd be to their program. If that doesn't work, you make a donation to their building fund. I don't know. Well, isn't that illegal? Not really. Isn't it immoral? Well, exactly. I think it would work. And after reviewing all the factors, weighing an adequate interview against the rather pedestrian application, we simply feel that attending the center at this time would just not be in Calvin's best interest. Uh, that's Kevin. Sorry. Right. But perhaps you should think about reapplying next year, though, and... You know, I don't think you realize how excited we are about your program and how willing we are to contribute. <laughs> you know, I'm an attorney. I could volunteer my legal services. <laughs> I help draft the Pooper Scooper initiative. <laughs> you could imagine what I could do here at the center. And I'm a professional journalist. I could help with the school newsletter. And my zucchini bread is always a big hit at bake sales. Yes, well, I'm sure it's all delicious. But, you know, we do uh, have... So those must be the plans for the new building. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes, and hopefully with an expanded facility, we'll have fewer meetings such as these. <laughs> uh, you know, there may be an additional factor here that we may not be taking into consideration. Oh, how, how much of uh, an additional factor? <laughs> oh, my, that, <clears throat> that is an additional factor. <laughs> well, uh... I see that we do have an opening for little Calvin. Kevin. <laughs> yes, sorry, I knew that. Uh, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver, and welcome, welcome to the center fold. <laughs> uh, is, is there a problem here, pal? <laughs> yeah. And just five minutes ago, Kevin wasn't ready for your center. Well, he was on the borderline. No, I think your first answer was the right one. I don't think this is the right school for Kevin. And you don't know what you're missing without my zucchini
Dad. Dad, you've got to hear my new essay. Writing was just too tame. So I'm going to send them a tape. Hey, good idea. Be creative. You're going to love this. I wanna go to Princeton. I must matriculate. Please accept this application, even though it's three days late. So what do you think? I think I just saved thirteen grand. <laughs> Oliver, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the ritual sacrifice concert at State. I've already told you. There's no way you're going to a rock concert alone. Well, I'm not going alone. Yo, let's rock! You ready, Ollie? All set. Mom? I know what you're thinking. But once Ollie turned me on to those guys, I really got stoked. Tonight at 8.05 Eastern, don't miss the body-slamming excitement of World Championship Wrestling. Then at 10, National League Baseball excitement is here as Los Angeles battles the Braves live. But now, top athletes compete on U.S. Olympic Gold, a TBS sports exclusive. Coming up next on TBS, cable's most popular network. <laughs> Oh, ba doo 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 ba doo